Hello and a very warm welcome to the Volta alla Comunità Valenciana. It is the stage four and it's the Queen stage today. The big stage today to find out. Today's the day. Can Edvard Bossenhagen hold on to what would be his first overall stage race win since the Tour of the Fjords in 2017? Well, a nice sunny start. The weather's been absolutely brilliant in Valencia for this race. A lot of climbs to take on. The hardest of the week. First up, the Alto de Cuya. And then uh, a repeat of the Vuelta España Stage 5 from a few years ago. From then on in, the last two category climbs and the final climb itself to Alcocebra. On that day, in 2017, it was a breakaway that won by five minutes. With a GC at stake today, that is not going to happen. There is a breakaway up the road, and it took quite a while to form. I can tell you that it took six kilometers for a group to get away with a 30-second gap. Burgos Beatia then rode quite hard for 20 kilometers to bring everything back together. They put uh, Diego Rubio, the king of the mountains, in the next move. He managed to get away after 30 kilometers with Silvan Dilia here at the front and the man behind him, Joao Rodriguez. By 45 kilometers in, they had a gap of three minutes and 10 seconds. That gap didn't go bigger than four minutes in the end. Diego Rubio was able to get out there and pick up maximum points in the first climb of the day, the first category climb that should ensure that he will be the king of the mountains by the end of this race. So we've got two of those three left, Joao Rodriguez of W52 FC Porto and Silvan Dilia, the man who was second in Paris-Roubaix last year. Here's our king of the mountains, Diego Rubio riding for Burgos Beace. It was obviously their intention today to secure that jersey, and they have done it as long as he stays on his bike and finishes. Of course, those points for the first category climb helping him over the line, given the fact that the others in the break aren't really involved in the, in the shake-up for the points so far. Silvan Dili has just been given a big até logo. Goodbye, see you later, to his Portuguese partner in crime. This was the moment. Joao Rodriguez, left behind, cannot hold a wheel. First and second division, Premier League and second division rider. Well, that's the difference, but he did help. He never held back. Um, just before you blow, he was still uh, riding with the Dilly, still trying to help. So it's um, Dilly, we've seen him doing this before. He's a strong rider, he's on a mission today. But we were just talking in the break as well, myself and Rob. And, you know, another day's Lars back on the front here for Team Dimension Data. We've seen them kind of depleted towards the end because they've had to control things. The speed has been somewhat um, more difficult, but they've got pretty much the whole complement of riders here. Uh, Lars back and uh, Jay Thompson are the two riders riding inside the last 30 kilometres. And I think at the start of today's stage, if you'd have said that to Team Dimension Data, they, they would they would take it. Now we've got a different setup at the front. Look at this, Brian. We have Chris Yul Jensen making his way to the front. And it's a change in who's riding, Mitchelton Scott. Yep, um, we're just uh, looking at that. Uh, the fact that um, some teams are here thinking of the, the overall, some t team teams are here thinking of uh, possibly the stage win. They have got the, the opportunity here with um, the likes of uh, Jack Haig. Jack Haig very capable of winning the stage and, and taking the overall as well. So. Some riders um, just content in sitting back, some teams, uh, so for the first time uh, we've seen a team come up to the front and actually help uh, Team Dimension Data. Alejandro Valverde making his way to the front, as is Dan Martin, as is Rui Costa, the big boys are out to play. Yeah, this is uh, more on positioning for this final climb more than anything. It's not really about the chase. We see this every time in these uh, type of level races that um, Riders have been told, make sure you put uh, our leader in the best possible position. So they know it's coming up, and that's why we're seeing a stand on the left-hand side. We've got a UE, a CCC coming up in the orange. So now's the time to, to make sure your leader is in a very good position. And the leader, the overall leader, Edward Boston Hagen, is in a small group that's about maybe five or six bodies back from the front here. On the right-hand side, you can see his yellow jersey. And Moby Star. Of course, with Valverde behind, they have Ruben Fernandez. Here he goes. And there goes Alejandro Valverde, the world champion, in pursuit of his first victory in the Rainbow Stripes. He's being followed by Kudus, who knows this climb very well. Second overall, remember, in the World España. And already the yellow jersey's being dropped. Edvard Boissenhagen is being dropped. 
and Alejandro Valverde leads the first selection. Yeah, Dan Martin uh, was straight on his wheel as well. So Movistar decided that they want to split this up early and they have done. And they can see the leader up ahead now. Silvan Dillier's days on this climb are numbered. Mojave Kudus is looking for revenge on the mountain that cost him the Welter stage win. And he is now the leader on the road. The breakaway is gone. Mojave Kudus at 3 minutes and 21 might have the freedom to take the stage. But there are so many riders who want to take this from behind. Mojave Kudus doing a good job for his team. There is Adam Yates. Now Diego Rosa is being dropped, as is the yellow jersey again. Yeah, he's just trying to hang in there, but uh, Valverde is gone with uh, Adam Yates. And it was Adam Yates that went on the attack last year when Valverde came up and uh, took the stage win. 14 seconds, 11 seconds ahead of the yellow jersey. He is going to leak some seconds, but uh, it's going to be very difficult for him to, uh, to stay here uh, or come back. But Valverde looks good. He's just sitting and waiting. Errada's in this group, as is Yonis Aguirre. Iguita is the rider in orange, the young Colombian. Rainbow jersey, of course, is Alejandro Valverde. Adam Yates is doing a job for Jack Haig, and that looks like Jesus Errada on the left-hand side. Dan Martin at the back in the red helmet for UAE Emirates. Yates puts on the pressure again. Yonis Aguirre right up there. Then Hermann starting to have a little bit of trouble at the back for Israel Cycling Academy. Two kilometers still to go. It doesn't really get easier until the final <laughs> 500, 600 meters or so. Yeah, Hermann's just getting distance here. Uh, Adam Yates just uh, keeping the pressure on. Uh, looks as if uh, Jack Haig is at the back of this group as well. So into the last kilometer. 12% on that sign there. A look around. Almost five hours of racing again. It's been a tough, tough day. Alejandro Valverde must be feeling good in this group. He has that sprint finish on him. Hermans makes, makes it back to this uh, front group. He's at the back in the blue and white for Israel Cycling Academy. Remember, two riders are there for Mitchelton Scott. It's all being led at the moment by Adam Yates. Only ten riders left now. No gap at the minute on the way back to the yellow jersey, but it must be helping him, the fact that there's a little bit of a slowing up. And there goes Herrada on the right-hand side making his move. Already victorious this season. Remember, one in Mallorca the other week. Jesus Serrada on the left-hand side as we look at it now for Kofidis, being followed by Adam Yates. Third position in the turquoise jersey is Isagirre. Behind him, you can see Alejandro Valverde being dropped as the gap opened up behind to Sergio Aguita. Herrada still there at the front. Haig struggling towards off the back of the group for Mitchelton Scott. Now he's, Valverde decides it's time to close the gap. Yeah, he's good at that, and he just uh, sits back and, uh, and waits, waits for it to develop watching the race waiting and watching rosa and edvor Boasenhagen. look at the effort on the face of the leader there from norway it's chess being played still at the front however yeah that's what harada did he was going to suffer a little bit didn't want to get involved with this and they uh, tried to attack but it wasn't to be well yates is still pressing on it's his teammate who's dropped out of the back though haig at the minute yates still there and looking good Oops. Now he pushes on the pedals. Adam Yates going again. This might be his move to try and get away. Looking brilliant here. Adam Yates for Mitchelton Scott. His account is there to be opened as well. Remember, they won a couple of days ago with Matteo Trentin. Valverde now again. Valverde still looking for that first win in the rainbow stripes. This Valverde is what happened on the last year. Side. Remember, it was Adam Yates who was up there. Valverde who came around him and took the stage in the end. Is he going to be done in the Vuelta Valencia once more? Adam Yates with the finish line in sight now. Yates looking around with Valverde closing on him, but it's going to be Adam Yates. Yates to take win number one of the year. Valverde coming across in second place. Then it was the lot from Astana. Sergio Higuita with another superb performance for the third division Euskadi team. And we are counting back as Errada comes across the line. And here comes Edvard Bossenhagen. Jonas Aguirre will be the new leader, we think, of the Vuelta a la Comunidad Valenciana.